Hello, this is Dr. Yates and one of my patients, Nick, and it's a Saturday morning and we're doing some more hair. You can see that Nick has some good hair up here. Nice curls, nice hairline, nice everything, but Nick, you didn't pretty much start off looking like this, right? No, not I mean, at all. We met about a year ago and Nick had a procedure and I want to show the pictures first because as my grandmother used to say, a picture's worth a thousand words. First, I'm going to show it to you, Nick. Tell me, is this you? Yep, that's me. Okay. Is this you? Yep, that's me. Okay. All right, let's bring the cameras in and let's <clears throat> see what our friend Nick used to look like exactly one year ago today. Now, you can see that he didn't have much hair on top there and his uh, shot from the front, his frame was absent. So, I would say that all this hair up here is grafted. We did, you know, of course, the FUE procedure, approximately 3,000 grafts to the front and the mid scalp, okay? And we didn't put much in his crown, but I guess you had some hair there anyway, because he still has some hair here now. So, Nick, you were wearing a system, right? Correct, yeah. How long did you wear a system? About uh, 13, 14 years. Nick wore a system. Now, for all of you that doesn't know what that means, uh, a system is the kind word for wearing a hair piece, a wig or what people call a rug and why did you decide to come out of your system it was just too difficult it was always a problem making sure it looked right keeping it clean uh, we're worried about my parents in public if it noticeable or not so it just it was too long too much work but in your mind did you mm -hmm. think you were fooling people and they didn't know you had a system at first I did but uh, after a little while you can see people can tell you know and like when you were out so you were always conscious were you more conscious of the front of the system or the back the front the front yeah and that's where you know like when I look at people's hair I always look somebody's hair that's too thick up here I always look to see if the hairline is in sync with the temples because somebody who has a very thick hairline if their temples are back here it doesn't match up so if their hairline is thick look here make sure their temples are thick if they don't match up you know what i don't care what it looks like they're wearing a system and there are a lot of movie stars and i'm not going to say who but if you look at this versus this you can tell they're wearing a system so we have a movement here and it's called get out of the system because a system is psychologically crippling because you're always wondering when you're out you never feel did you ever feel comfortable like you could just walk in a room and be like hey hey and not really not really couldn't feel that complete secure feeling right and when I was losing my hair, I wore like one of these little systems for about six months. And I tell you the whole time, you're thinking, oh, who's looking? You're looking at the front, the back. It's more comfortable just being bald because it is what it is. Right. So this, we're appealing to all men and even some women out there who are wearing the system. I'm venturing to say it is a much better existence to take the system off. So that's why we have our come out of the system movement here at Yates Medical because we want people to enjoy the freedom that Nick enjoys. Is it going to be, was it easy for you to take it off? Oh, very. Oh, see, he's different. A lot of people is like taking away their first yeah. child. Even their hair will look like this underneath the system. They're like, oh, it's not as thick. Oh, you got to get over that, you know, because you're trading one thing for something else. You're trading less dense hair, your own hair for, tra you know, and tranquility for always worrying thinking about something something that everyone knows is not real anyway. I can guarantee you, even the people you think don't know, they know. You know. So why don't you want a peace of mind? It's 2017, get a peace of mind, get some hair. Come see us in Chicago, and Nick's getting some more hair today. So we'll show again in another year. You know, Nick, anything you want to say to the guys when we're in a system uh, that are scared and yeah. feel threatened? Yeah, so it's the best thing I've ever done. I would have done this years ago if I knew it was so easy and affordable. Um, just, it's, it's the way to go. Getting ready in the morning, five minutes. No longer worrying about the hair, fixing the hair. If you haven't thought about this, you need to start doing it. Right. And the other thing you have to think about with the system, baldness is progressive. So you start out a little bit bald, you get a small system, keeps getting bigger. You know, how big can you get a system? As you get older, you know, your sides are dropping. Your system, the only thing that's going to get bigger is your system. So you're going to sit here with a big poof on your head and a little bit of hair here, and everybody's going to know you have on a system. Now, if, that, if you're okay with that, I'm okay with that. But I think it does more damage in the long run than good. Okay? So just think about it. 
If you want to talk about it, you got any comments, let me know. But in Nick's case, you know, he came out of the system and he feels better. So that's all we can talk about today. So come see us in Chicago. This is Dr. Yates. Thank you.